Hey everybody, it's Egan from Get Found Madison talking about how SEO and Google AdWords relate to each other. So here's a site that I also own. It's called Splendid Beast. We sell custom oil paintings of people's pets so people can submit a photo of their dog or cat and then get their pet in a handmade oil painting and they can choose from one of these templates or there's another place where they can select a custom option. So one of the ways, so I want to look at it. what are people Googling to get to this, right? And, it, and so just as an example, someone Googled for oil painting dog, we can see some shop ads at the top, some images, we see a few YouTube videos, Etsy's right up at the top there, and then all the way down here, here's Splendid Beast, here's where we're ranking, and I know from um, a study back in 2014, just common sense, that the higher you rank on Google, the more likely people are to click. So here the y-axis is where you're ranking, and the x-axis is what percent of the clicks did people get. So this was from what results did people click on a Google results page. We can see that top result got about a third of the clicks, and then it's half all the way down. So we're down to that 6 to 10 range. Those, combined, those, re those results, 6 through 10, those get under 5% of the clicks. So we can really see why it's important to move our way up for SEO here. But of course, as I talk about elsewhere, SEO takes time and effort. And maybe we want to get some of this traffic now by trying to get some ads up here. So one of the ways we do this is we look at our Search Console data. This is a free tool, Google Search Console. You should have this running in the background. You can say, show me what SEO clicks I'm getting, impressions, which is when I show, clicks divided by impressions is click-through rate, and then position, which is where I'm showing. I'm also running this. I also have this free Google Chrome plugin I always recommend. It's called Keywords Everywhere and I can specify in this Chrome plugin, show me the AdWords data as well. So this monthly US volume is coming from AdWords, cost per click estimate, same story, and then competition zero through one, that's coming from AdWords data, and then I can see my SEO data right next to it. Reason this might be helpful is, I'll sh uh, let me show you in a spreadsheet here. So I've taken this data, put it in a Google Sheet, and done some conditional formatting so I can see what are the opportunities that I'm missing. So right here, this colored column here, I'm looking at the column H. This is what I'm ranking number one for. That's great. Our SEO is looking good for fancy cat portraits and things like that. But the bad news is fewer than 10 people a month are even searching that. So Google's telling me the big zero, right? So when I get down to these and I, I've sort of got the positions colored differently, so we're getting halfway down the page when we get to spot five and then spot six and onward, Pet Portraits Oil, for example, gets 10 searches a month. I'm on spot number six, uh, six on average. Custom Dog Art would be a good one we want to rank for, but we're only six and a half. So I've got some other columns here. Should we target these with AdWords? I do a little analysis. And then would this be an SEO opportunity in the future as well? That one potentially could be. Um, the Impressions column here, I've got it to highlight, I think, when it's over 100. And um, that tells me within the last 28 days, at least 100 people searched for this phrase. So these are opportunities. So as I go down the list, I see that, what's this one? Pet portraits from photos. This is exactly what we sell. Um, in, in the last month, 289 people search for that. And again, we only got two, under 2.5% two of those clicks because we're way down in position 7. So definitely want to target those with AdWords. And certainly as we get down to that bottom of page 1, I'm seeing each of these where I've got a lot of potential traffic and really I'm missing out on. I've got a 1.5% click-through rate on animal portraits pet painting, which is exactly what we do, um, dog portraits, things like that. So any of these where I've got some good volume and my ranking's not that good, I want to kind of close the gap and use ads for now and then potentially in the future optimize pages on the site using SEO to rank for those. So let's, so let's see in AdWords. So the first thing always in AdWords is to make sure you're doing conversion tracking. So up here under Tools, Conversions, I've already got this set up basically. If someone reaches the order receive page, we're counting that as a win. We've made a sale, that's good. Now if you're a local business, that could be, you know, they, we have a thank you page after someone fills out a contact form or something like that. There's all kinds of other ways. I've got some other videos about conversion tracking, but in this case, um, we can just do it by destination page reach, and anytime we can do it that way, that's really the easiest. So let's look at our campaigns we're running. So I, I put everything in one campaign here so, so I can set my daily budget, and then I've got ad groups. And I, I segment my ad groups personally by the, the keywords we're targeting. So I've got some based on pet portraits, cat portraits, dog portraits, cat paintings, dog paintings. And what we might need is to maybe duplicate one of these and make some tweaks so that we can target some of the ones we're really missing out on. So I've talked through my logic here. 
I'm just going to sort by these. The ones I said, they have good search volume and my SEO kind of sucks right now. Or there's good volume and, you know, I'm not at the very top. But I'm lo really looking down here. So even just dog painting, Google AdWords data is telling me that gets 4,400 searches a month. I'm only getting 44, 41 impressions, but that's because I'm way back. I'm on spot 39, which I think is page 4 of Google way at the bottom. So obviously no one's clicking my result there. This would be a good one to let's run some ads on that. So why don't I start there since that's where I'm hurting the worst. Let's go back to AdWords then. So I've got dog paintings here. Let's look at that ad group and see how it's doing. Um, I have just recently unpaused these. Something about the keywords I should point out is you can be as specific as you want. So if I just typed in dog paintings here as my keyword without any um, without anything else, it would be Google would find synonyms for that. Yeah, it would try to guess what people were look, looking for when they Googled, and it would show my ad for all kinds of phrases. If I put these little plus signs, see those? I say dog and paintings, that means those words have to be included in the search. I could also use quotes, and then it's got to be dog paintings together. Um, and then I could use brackets, and that means don't have any other words on either side either. So you can really set the strictness on how strict you want to be on the keywords. This is um, medium strictness. It's not as loose as it could be. But both the word dog and the word painting have to be in this. Let me see that one again. So I think it's just dog painting is what I'm looking for. I think that's pretty good. I can always add negative keywords in here. Um, something I was running into when I ran this previously was that people from different lo were looking for their specific state, you know, Arizona, California, etc. Sometimes cheap, sometimes they're looking on Amazon or particular artists and things, inexpensive, yada yada. So I can add all these as negative keywords and say, don't show my ads for these. And then I can also monitor my search terms over time. Let's see if I can look back farther here. Set the date of when I've been running these. Let's go back to maybe May. May through September today. Okay. Now I can see, here's the phrases people have actually Googled in the past when I ran these ads. Dog painting, dog paintings, painting of your dog. This all looks good. Personalized dog painting. Everything looks good. I want a painting of my dog. Love it. These are actual queries people typed into Google. And these are definitely people we would want to bring to the site to check it out, right? See if we can find any bad ones. Painting of a boy and his dog, 1936. Again, some of these are so obscure that they probably wouldn't happen again. So I'm not necessarily worried. But if I see any where it's like, I never want to pay for that again. Etsy, maybe if, maybe I want to say, if someone's looking for Etsy specifically, don't even show us. Caricature, if that's not exactly what we do, maybe I could add that as a negative keyword. Weenie dog painting, custom dog paintings, most famous dog paintings. San Diego, there it is again. Someone's looking for a local person specifically, and maybe not an e-commerce company like this. And anyway, so this is good to monitor at least once a month, but maybe even more when you're starting a campaign, just to say, hey, I, I want to make sure that we're showing our ads for the correct results, right? For the correct searches. And then I've got my ads here. I always try to, this is per Perry Marshall's Ultimate Guide to Google AdWords, uh, try to always be testing two ads at a time for each one. So we've got our, we saw our keywords, it's got to include dog, it's got to include paintings, and you, you can see from the ad, let's see what our, you can test click it and see what the landing page is. So it looks like we go right to the shop. We do cats and dogs, but you know, most of these are dogs on top, so this is a decent landing page. People can get some ideas. They wouldn't necessarily know uh, from this landing page that they get to submit the picture of their pet, so maybe we could work on that. But I'm not, I'm not taking them to the home page and making them navigate. I'm going to at least test how it goes taking them right to the shop. So when I edit this, dog paintings from photos, handmade oil portraits of dogs, I try to always include the keyword, since we're strictly including keywords, I want to say, if they Googled this, I want to include those words right at the beginning of my first headline, because I Googled this, hey, there's a result, I want to click that. So I get higher click-through rates that way, closely match it that way, and then a little more detail, commission a custom masterpiece from a template or your imagination. So at least we'd let them know up front before they click to the site that, um, there's some there's a couple different options on this site. This one looks good to me. Um, I can see from past performance as well that you know it got 360 clicks on average, about 50 cents a click. Here's how much we paid in the past. Didn't get any conversion, but we could keep trying on that. Again, you kind you kind of set in your mind how much do I want to risk before I start seeing some return on it. To me, I think we're still testing. We're getting it done, so I'm I'm happy with that. Again. The impressions is how many times do we get in front of people with the ad? 8,200 times with this ad, and then this other ad, this variation on it, showed 8,100 times. Unique oil portraits of dogs. Great. So this is definitely one we want to be running because let's do 
let's see how we're doing. Sometimes it's good to double check also what Google Search Console is telling us. Pain in your life. Yeah, we are not at the top for this one. In fact, when I search this, I don't even see Splendid Beast on here. We got, now I'm running my ad, so it's showing at the bottom. You can see that little ad word ne next to it, but, um, you know, we're not showing any organic results, so definitely we want to be running ads here. At the very least, to hop on this page. Um, with the way that this result page works out, they've really got the shop results up here, and you can run those through Google too. That's kind of another story. But um, I want to at least be on this page and work our way up with SEO. So hopefully that's helpful. We can see how uh, we can get to the first page of Google, even if we haven't earned it yet with our SEO. Um, again, I would probably work my way back up in here. Maybe I would even highlight these so I know which ones I've already tackled. Um, and I would keep going up on any, whoops, it's actually that one. So any uh, opportunities where our SEO is not there yet, I'm particularly looking at these. I, I did conditional formatting, so if it's over a thousand searches a month, like dog portraits and pet portraits, really want to alert me. And again, I'm hovering bottom of page one, beginning of page two. Uh, that's not where people are clicking, so I definitely want to run ads to get another chance to people, so people can click. So we can really see that there's there's two ways to the first page of Google, and both are worth looking at. Uh, I think of AdWords as kind of the speedboat. Let's get there now. Let's pay per click and see how we do. And we can also obviously track conversions and see how much our leads are costing us that way. And then when we find really good juicy keywords that are driving us a lot of leads, driving us a lot of sales, um, we can optimize for those and start ranking there uh, organically. And once we get on that page and we're more up here at the very top, at least in those top three spots and maybe in the top spot, then maybe we dial back the AdWords.